Hi everybody, just a very quick video to show you an example of a way that you can run a virtual excursion for your students. Uh, we're using Google Classroom at my school, so we would provide this uh, activity for them on that platform, but this will work on any platform that you're going to use. So if you go to Google Earth, Google Earth now works online. You don't have to use a special app or anything like that. And uh, if you go to the Google Earth uh, education sort of center, you can explore Earth and there are tons and tons of resources on here. So let's just have a look at one example that you could use. So if I scroll down here, you've got Voyager that you can open up and take through all these different activities and opportunities that you've got here. Scroll down further and there's more things here specifically that you can go through. So let's look at this is home. So maybe if you're looking at um, uh, natural or built communities or features or historical aspects of uh, built features or something like that, or if you're looking at different cultures around the world, this might be a good task that goes in line with what you're learning about. And you can see down here, it's got visit traditional homes and classroom activity. So I'm just going to open up classroom activity so that you can see what it looks like. And there's a task here and you can adapt this to suit you. So one of two things, you can either just upload this and get the kids to follow the instructions on there, or you could modify it for whatever purposes that you're using it for. And if you visit traditional homes, this is going to be the exciting part for the kids. So I'm just opening up that into a new tab and this is going to open up um, the Google Earth function where they can go in. It takes a minute to load. So you can see here on this bar, it's just loading. Uh, it doesn't take too long. And from what I know, this should work in either browser. I choose to use Chrome but this should work in Explorer as well. And then it takes you to this page here where it says, this is home. And there's a button here called Explore Now. So they're going to have to go into Explore Now. And this is where it gets really exciting and interactive. So you can see the globe here on this side here. And then you've got all these different places that the kids can visit here. I'm just going to scroll down and show you some of them. So they're going to get the opportunity to click on each of these quite easily when they go into it. So let's just start with Africa, but keep your eye on the globe when I click Africa. It's now going to zoom down into this first place that it's taking us to right here. And I can uh, move this map around. I'm just using my finger at the moment on the, the touch screen, but the kids have icons down here that they can use to change the way that this looks. And over on the right hand side, it gives us information about it. So um, even if you're doing this with a younger class that may not have the literacy skills to comprehend all of this text here, they're going to have the fun of playing with this part of the screen and looking around their surroundings and talking about what's on there. So they can click on read more to read more about it. Or if we go down to the bottom right here, see it's got one out of three, they can click on the arrow and go to the next home and look at that vision just zoom in again to the next part and we come into a house and i'm going to use my finger to zoom around and you can see down here we've got these arrows the kids can click and go into the house but let's just have a look around because this is what they will do they will want to look around and see what's up and what's down and all these features that are around it and this could be an activity where they compare and contrast with their own home so let's just go into the house by tapping that arrow to move forward and it shows us inside the house and we can look around and this would be a great activity for them to describe the things they see, what the people are doing, you know, how are they cooking? How do you cook? We've got a chicken in the background there, uh, you know, plates and things. What would that um, can be for? That kind of a thing. And then they can go out of the house and then they can go and navigate around the local area if they want to and see what's in there. So now let's go again and click to the next one. Here we go. Oh, it's taken me to that one as well. Awesome. Okay, so when they're ready to look at something else, they can come up here to the X at the top right, click on that and look at the menu bar with table of contents and then they can go back to these other areas here as well. So let's have a look at East Asia. When I click on that, look at this zoom out, it's going to take us across the world to East Asia and zoom into this next section here. And we've got a few tabs that we can look around here. So this is showing us where we are and some more information. I'm going to click on the next arrow. It's going to take us in and it's just loading, here we go. And now we've got another part of the world where we can see how people live and what their homes look like. 
And again, you can click and zoom and jump in and have a look at these things using the arrows to, to travel through and have a look. And look at this. I love the satellite dish and solar, solar power that's there as well. And you can get up and, and get into these homes as well and look at the difference between this home and the home that we visited previously and even compare to our own homes. And then just follow the navigation like that. So you might need to make an instructional video to show your kids how to get through these toolbars and everything. But otherwise, that's one way you can take your kids on an excursion while remote learning.